Ka nunak, Murich Kulinga. Hello to all you awesome kids out there. My name is Alton Wally, and I'm here today to read you a story that's very special to me. It's special to me because this is the first story I wrote that got published. This is called Chunya and the Cheeky Parrot. And I was lucky enough to have my dad, Richard Wally, do some of the illustrations for me, and also Sandy Fordham and Rosalie Oakley. So I'm super excited to read this for you all, and I want you to know that reading can take you anywhere. And today, reading has taken me to King's Park, Karatakumba. Chunyat and the Cheeky Parrot. A long, long time ago, a young Nyungar boy named Chunyat woke early and full of excitement. He peered out of his Maya Maya. His cheeky friend, the 28 parrot, landed on his shoulder and whistled, Good morning. Chunyat had dreamed of this day since he was a little boy. He was finally old enough to go hunting with his dad and the Wajak Nyunga Mam. Today, we're going to Karakumba to hunt for food and to make a feast. Hurry up, Dad, it's time to go, called Chunyat as he threw his younger booker into his Maya Maya. Dad shook his head and said, You're just like that parrot we named you after, you cheeky boy. They set off as the sun rose, trying to keep up with his father's big steps. He looked back and saw his mother waving. She and the other Yorgra would meet them at Karakumba that evening. He felt butterflies in his tummy. Until now, his mum and aunties were always close by to care for him. Chunyat silently promised to himself to find a special gift for his mum on their journey. He hoped he would be able to keep up for the whole day. Tell me about the place we're going, Dad, Chunyat asked. Karakumba is an important place for our people, explained Dad. We have been hunting and foraging on this land since the beginning of time. Today, you will learn some of the karajan passed down through our family, he said. The Karakumba land gives us all the things our family needs, like food, water, medicine, tools, and the things to make our Maya Mayas. But we mustn't be greedy. We can only take what we need. Suddenly, the cheeky 28 parrot landed on Chunyat's shoulder. There you are, said Chunyat. I thought you were too lazy to follow me today. Me? You're the lazy one, laughed the parrot. If you were a big man, you would be walking along those rocks up there. Wanting to look as big as possible, Chunyat climbed up the rocks too fast, slipped and cut his knee. Ouch. Chunyat called to his dad, who came to check the nasty cut. Wait here, said dad, and he slipped away into the bush. Chunyat began to worry. Perhaps he might not make it through the day. But soon, dad returned with a strip of bibble and a small piece of something red, shiny and hard. This is called Maya, soothed his dad. It is a sticky gum that comes from the Mary tree. When it dries nice and hard, we crumble it up and sprinkle it over your cut like this to help it heal. Perhaps we could call it the medicine tree, said Chunya. They then wrapped the soft strip of bibble around his knee like a bandage. They kept walking until they finally reached Karakumba, where they stood on the cliff of Karagara. He could see all the Buja and the Belia below him and felt as high as a bird. Time to catch the Yongra, said his dad quietly to him. Hold the Kaili and I'll take the Keech and the mirror. The mom began to chase the mob of Yongra back towards the cliff. Chunyat's heart pounded as he peered around his father's side to see the Yongra cornered. The brave mom caught just enough for the feast and let the rest go. The mom were tired and hungry. They cut a big flat piece of bark from the tuit tree, filled it with roots and grubs to eat, and sat down to rest under the shady wanil trees. The 28 parrot flew onto a branch above Chunyat's head and whistled his cheeky song. Chunyat danced around to the tune. The mama hot and tired. Don't annoy them, growled Dad. But Chunyat couldn't keep still. Come on then, sighed Dad. I'll take you for a look around. They came across a tree with curvy branches. Dad stopped and handed Chunyat the coach and taught him how to cut the branches off right. These curved branches from the condu will make good Kylie, he said. A Kylie tree, squawked the parrot. 
Next, they came across a strange tree with green spiky leaves. This is a very clever tree. It's called a balga and is useful for plenty of things like making fires and building shelters. Dad pulled a juicy body from the balga and gave it to Chunya to eat. Yum! He smiled as he tasted the creamy egg yolky grub. Quick Chunya, grab as many bodies as you can so we can eat them all to ourselves, whispered the parrot in his ear. Chunya thought for a moment. He looked at his brave, strong dad who spent the day teaching him. He turned to the parrot. No, he said. I'm not listening to you anymore. First you got me hurt. Then you got me in trouble. We shouldn't be greedy, said Chunya. We only take what we need from the butcher, so you can buzz off. Chunya felt a splat on his head. The parrot had pooped on his head and flown away laughing. Chunya was sorry he had spoken so crossly to his friend and felt like a little boy again. There seemed to be so much he didn't know. But suddenly he spied something he did know. The long strappy leaves of the Kerbin. This was his mum's favourite for weaving baskets. Chunya quickly cut some of the long leaves to give her as a gift. Cooking smells reached them as they walked towards the Bidawong. His mum and the Yorga had arrived and started preparing a feast. They ate around the Kala as night fell, listening to his favourite dreamtime story of the Wagu, who made the rivers, trees and land long ago. Everyone was dancing, singing and enjoying the corroboree, but Chunya felt too tired. As he began to fall asleep, he heard the 28 parrots singing a lullaby. His little friend was singing a song about the medicine tree, the bandage tree, the boomerang tree and the body tree, reminding Chunya of all the things he had learnt that day. Perhaps he is not so bad, he thought. I think I will need all my friends and family to help me learn to be a man. And that's the story of Chunyat and the Cheeky Parrot. I want to thank you all for joining me.